In the previous lesson, we saw that secondary storage is a way of storing data in the long term. We also saw how magnetic and solid state storage devices function, their uses and their advantages and disadvantages. However, these are just two categories of storage device. Optical storage is another type of storage that has its own features and uses. We also commonly use cloud storage nowadays rather than storing files locally on your own devices. Optical storage includes things like CDs, DVDs and Blu-ray discs. Optical media records data by using a laser on a reflective spinning disc. A laser can make marks on the disc in order to record data. Marked areas are known as pits and represent zeros in binary. Non-marked areas are known as lands and represent ones in binary. Data can then be read from the disc by reflecting a laser off of it. Lands will reflect the light back to a receiver, whereas pits will not reflect the light back. Blu-ray discs have a higher concentration of pits and lands than DVDs, meaning they can store more data. This is because blue light is more precise than the red light used on DVDs. What are the relevant features of optical storage devices though? Capacity. An individual optical disc has a relatively low capacity. A Blu-ray disc can store 25 gigabytes, which is very little compared to hard disk drives and solid state drives. Speed. Optical discs are slower than hard disk drives and all forms of solid state storage for reading and writing too. Portability. They are very small and lightweight and so are highly portable, though it does require the recipient devices having an optical disk drive which is becoming increasingly rare. Durability. Optical discs are very easy to damage. They're flimsy and easy to break. They can also be scratched very easily, which can damage the data being stored. Reliability. Optical discs will work for a limited number of writes, potentially up to 1,000 times, but usually quite a bit less. Cost. Optical discs are very cheap. You could buy a pack of 50 Blu-ray discs for less than 30 pound. That's over one terabyte of storage. Overall, optical discs are really only used for storing music, films, TV and software for distribution by suppliers. For example, game publishers distribute games on discs to retail stores to sell. This is due to their low cost and excellent portability. They once were popular for individuals to use as a portable storage method for the same reasons. However, devices like USB flash drives have almost entirely replaced them for this as they are more durable, faster and have much better storage capacities. Traditionally, we store our files locally, such as on the computer's hard disk drive. However, with cloud storage your data is stored remotely on servers connected to the internet. Services like OneDrive or Dropbox are common examples of cloud storage providers. It isn't technically an alternative to the other type of storage we've been looking at, as the cloud storage servers will still be using traditional storage media. However, the difference is that we've been talking about these storage devices predominantly from the perspective of storing data locally. With cloud storage, we upload our data to a cloud storage server over the internet, and this will be stored on these servers' own storage devices. This means we can log into the cloud storage service from any computer with internet access and be able to view, download and edit our files. Let's look at some of the advantages and disadvantages to using cloud storage rather than storing our data locally. File access. With local storage, you can only access your files when you're on your computer. But with cloud storage, you can access your files wherever you have an internet connection. This means you can work on the same files whether you're on your PC, laptop, tablet or smartphone or when using someone else's computer entirely. You just need to log into the service and you can have total access to your files. Backup. Cloud storage is very useful for backing up our files in case they are damaged as the files are stored remotely. A remote backup isn't susceptible to viruses or natural disasters that have damaged our original copies as it is on a completely different computer. We can also set up our computer to automatically back up our files to the cloud by syncing our local computer with the cloud storage. File sharing. We can share folders on our cloud storage with others so that groups of people can collaborate on the same documents together. This way anyone who has had the folder shared with them can create, edit and delete files within the shared folder. Collaborative working is extremely helpful in business. 
especially when employees are not always based in the same building, so this is of great use. Internet Reliance Due to your files being stored on a remote server that you can access over the internet, this does mean that you require a fast, reliable internet connection. If your internet connection is slow, then it will take a long time to upload and download your files when saving or loading, which will affect your productivity. If your internet connection is unavailable, then you may not be able to access any of your files at all. Security Issues Your data is stored on cloud servers accessible over the internet. Typically, access to your cloud server is protected by a username and password. However, this does mean that someone could potentially hack into your cloud storage account and access your files, particularly if you use a simple password. This makes cloud storage unsuitable when storing highly confidential data. So, optical media stores data on a disk by shining light on the reflective surface. They are portable and cheap to buy. However, they have poor capacity, slow read-write speeds, are easily damaged and only work for a small number of writes. They are only really used for distributing media like movies, music and video games and even here they are losing popularity. With cloud storage, your data is stored remotely on servers connected to the internet. Cloud storage allows for better file access, easier backup and the ability to share files. However, they require a fast and reliable internet connection and have some security issues.